it's Rocket Rider, and I have one more guilt to do. Uh, Sabado is the final boss uh, of the game. It's the last guilt and the most complicated one. I could either do Death Awaits All or Vulnerability, but uh, Death Awaits All is easier, so I'm going to show you that one. It gives me more time to demonstrate what happens. It's a 10 minute operation, and I actually like uh, this theme better than. Uh, better than the one in, uh, better than, better than in, uh, 6, uh, or 6, 8. Okay. This is phase one. You have to pretty much cut the webs. When you cut a web, uh, your scalpel will melt, and Angie has to get you back up. Hold the scalpel button down anyway because it'll take it back. When Sabato creates a new web, lays the smaller guilt bodies immediately because if five of them combine, it'll cut your vitals in half and reduce your maximum vitals. And you really do not want that happening. It creates more webbing every time, so it takes longer to cut. You can't do anything to uh, Sabato otherwise. But your main priority should be cutting the web instead of uh, taking care of the small guilt. Because if the web turns red, it's minus 30 vitals, and the web turns from uh, white to red over time. He does this three times. When the scalpel comes back, uh, when the scalpel comes back, you need to layer, uh, cut the next one immediately. Otherwise, you're just gonna get in this in this loop. Okay, that's phase one done. This is phase two, and you have to hold the laser on it for a while. When it makes one of those lacerations that, uh, it does this after every hit. Uh, and sometimes the lacerations that it produces are very long, and you don't want to run out of laser power either. Or when it creates uh, the smaller bodies, it's going to cause a lot of problems. Once you've lasered it three times, you hit it with a scalpel. And then it goes back to the way it was. You have to do this three times. The other attack it uses makes three lacerations. And you have to... It does like 15 damage, so you have to be pretty fast. And I let the bodies get out of control. I also believe one of the special bonuses involves not letting the uh, not letting the smaller guilt bodies combine. When your laser uh, laser power goes red, is a good time to suture uh, lacerations and raise vitals because you do not want uh, your laser power coming out. And then, on the third time, uh, you get a serum for him. Also, you can't... Another thing I forgot to mention at the start of the operation is you can't use your healing touch until the very end, or you will not beat the mission.
that black vial is what you want to inject into it. And then it automatically decreases your vitals to 30. Uh, at this point, um, you just draw the healing touch star, and if you want more points, just suture all the lacerations. If you really want to make sure you get that S rank or XS rank, just suture as many. Let it make a whole bunch of lacerations and use the stabilizer a whole bunch. And then just suture all the lacerations he makes when you stop time. And then you just inject the serum into him and you're done. I think that's how you get enough points to get uh, the X or the S rank. And I just gotta bandage this guy up and I'll be done. That's all my guilt tutorial videos. Um, I plan on doing tutorial videos for Stigma when I get new blood, which will hopefully be next week once I actually get a Wii and some games for it. So let's see. Yeah, the only bonus I didn't get was for no misses, so I'm probably gonna get an A. Yeah, A. Hey.